Welcome to True Projects. In this video, we are going to explain the project Trusted Blockchain Based Traceability System for Fruit and Vegetable Agricultural Products. Introduction The primary goal of this project is to transform the way we trace and manage agricultural products, particularly fruits and vegetables. Traditional agricultural supply chain systems reliant on centralized servers face significant shortcomings. These include server downtime, vulnerability to cyber attacks and a lack of transparency and trust within the supply chain. To address these limitations, the project incorporates blockchain technology. Blockchain is like a digital ledger that records transactions securely and transparently. Instead of having all the data in one place, blockchain stores records as blocks of data, each with a unique code called a hash. These blocks are distributed across multiple computers or nodes making it much harder for anyone to tamper with the data or compromise the entire system. Blockchain offers several advantages. First, it is decentralized, meaning the data isn't stored in one vulnerable location. Second, it enhances security because the data is stored in encrypted format that is very difficult to alter or hack. Third, it promotes transparency as all transactions are recorded and visible to authorized users. Fourth, it ensures data immutability, meaning once something is recorded in the blockchain, it can't be easily changed. Finally, it is resilient to failures because even if some nodes go down, others continue to maintain the data. And the project harnesses the power of the Ethereum blockchain combined with the versatile Truffle development environment. Ethereum is renowned for its robust smart contract capabilities, making it an ideal choice for implementing data management within the agricultural supply chain. Objective of the project So, as I mentioned earlier, the primary objective is to create a reliable traceability system for agricultural products. This system will enable precise monitoring of these products at each stage of the supply chain, ensuring transparency and accountability. To achieve transparency and trustworthiness, blockchain technology will be employed in agricultural supply chain management. Blockchain will serve as the foundation for securely recording and managing traceability data. The project will leverage distributed ledger technology to store data in a way that will be both encrypted and verified. This approach will bolster security and resilience, safeguarding data from unauthorized access or alterations. And Ethereum coupled with Solidity smart contracts will be used for managing user and product data. Smart contracts will enable tamper-proof data management, ensuring accuracy and efficiency within the supply chain traceability system. Requirements needed to execute this project are hardware requirements, processor of i5 and above, RAM of 8 GB and above, ROM of 25 GB and above. Software requirements needed are Node.js, Python 3.7.0 and Visual Studio Community version. To execute this project, we have designed few modules. The first module is Admin Login. In this module, administrators can log in using their credentials to access the system. The second module is Add New Products. After logging in, administrators can add new products to the system. They provide details such as product name, quantity and its current stage in the supply chain like production, processing or sale. The third module is Update Tracing Details. Here, administrators have the authority to update the tracing details of products. This includes modifying the current stage of a product within the supply chain, whether it is in production, processing, sale or another phase. The next module is Users Registration. Here, users who are not administrators can register for system access. During registration, they provide necessary information such as their username, password and other required details. The next module is Users Login. In this module, the registered users can log in using their unique credentials, gaining access to the system's features and data. And the last module is View Products and Tracing Details. Once logged in, users can view a list of products and their associated tracing details. This information provides real-time insights into the current stage of each product in the supply chain, whether it is in production, processing, sale or any other relevant phase. Blockchain Integration So, blockchain safely keeps track of where agricultural products are in their journey like during production and transportation. And Ethereum smart contracts help manage data safely. They let us store and get user and product tracking information, all while making sure the data is correct. Blockchain's decentralization removes the need for a central authority, boosting security. Data isn't vulnerable to a single point of failure, reducing risk and ensuring data resilience. And data integrity is maintained in the system through the utilization of the SHA-256 algorithm, that is, a secure hash algorithm 256-bit. 
Each block in a blockchain is linked with a unique hash code. These blocks are maintained across multiple nodes or servers before storing new records. Blockchain verifies the hash code of each block. If any block data is modified, it results in a different hash code triggering security alarms and ensuring the integrity and immutability of the data. Execution of the project To execute this project, first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files. So this is agriculture folder. Inside this folder are Python code files that are intended to be dynamically loaded into the project during runtime. This is agriculture app folder. This folder comprises a static folder which contains files related to CSS, JavaScript and Bootstrap. These files contribute to the visual and interactive aspects of the application. An agriculture app folder also contains a templates folder. Within this folder, we'll find all the HTML pages used throughout the project. It includes pages like index.html, home.html and more representing various sections of the website. And it also contains Python code files that will be executed during the runtime of the application, supporting its functionality. This is Hello Eats folder. Inside this folder, I have a Note Modules folder. This folder consists of dependencies or modules needed for the project. Now open .bin folder. This folder often contains executable scripts related to the project's dependencies. So here we can see run blockchain.bat file, double click on it to start the blockchain. This script will initiate the local Ethereum blockchain for development purposes. It contains commands to start the blockchain environment. Now the blockchain is hosted on the local machine at the local host and port. This address allows us to interact with the blockchain using various tools and applications. Now execute the command truffle space migrate to compile and deploy the smart contracts. I'm typing truffle space migrate and hit the enter button. So truffle is a development framework for Ethereum that simplifies the process of compiling and deploying smart contracts. They are deployed on a blockchain network and can facilitate various transactions such as transferring tokens or managing digital assets. Once the migration process is complete, Truffle will provide us with a unique Ethereum contract address. So this is the contract address. This address represents the location of the deployed smart contract on the blockchain. And here we can see gas used. To execute the solidity file and compile smart contracts, this is the amount of gas consumed. Now minimize this. This is images folder in which I have these images which will be loaded into the application later. This is agriculture SQL file. This file consists of solidity code. It handles data structures, functions and events with modifiers for validation. This is manage.py file. It is a command line utility that comes with Django. It provides various commands for managing Django projects including tasks like running the development server, creating database tables, applying migrations and more. And this is run.bat file. Instead of executing the project through command line interface, we have created Windows bat file to execute the project. Now double click on it to start the Django application. So the Django framework will host the application locally at the default address local host and port unless configured differently. Now copy the local link provided by the framework. I'm copying it and paste it into any web browser. I prefer Chrome. After pasting it, type index.html at the end and hit the enter button. So the home page of the project has been displayed in the browser. This is the front end built using Django framework. And here we can see login and register here links. First we'll log in as administrator. So give the credentials, username and password of admin. And click on login button. So we have logged in as administrator and here we can see add new products, update tracing details and logout links. Click on add new products link. So here admin can add new product details. The product name would be Apple. Quantity would be 500. Price would be 5000. Description would be fresh apples. And we can upload the image here. Click on choose file button. So from images folder, I'm selecting this image and click on open. So we have filled in all these details. Now click on add products button. So we can see product details saved in blockchain. Now click on update tracing details link. So here admin can update the tracing details. So we can see the product name, price, quantity, description, image, last update date and current tracing info is production state. So we can click on click here link to update the tracing info. 
so here we can see add product tracing details screen so the product name is apple tracing type is production i am changing it to processing and tracing details would be i am giving it as sale in 5 days and now click on update tracing link So in red color text we can see the tracing details are updated in the blockchain. Now click on log out. Now click on register here link. We'll register as a user. The username would be Ravi. Give the password. Give the contact number. Give the email ID. Give the address and now click on register button. So in the blue color text we can see sign up process completed and record saved in blockchain. Now we'll log in. Click on login link. Give the previously mentioned credentials. Username is Ravi. Give the correct password and click on login. Give the correct username and password and click on login. So we have logged in as Ravi and here we can see view products and tracing details and logout links. Click on view products and tracing details link. So here we can see the tracing details of the product. The current tracing information is processing sale in 5 days and we can see all of the details also. The last update date, image, description, quantity, price and product name. Now click on logout. So the conclusion here is the project effectively introduced a traceability system based on blockchain for agricultural products. This innovation enhanced transparency and accountability in tracking these products along the supply chain. By utilizing blockchain's decentralized structure and data encryption, the system became resilient to server downtime and protected against hacking attempts, ultimately elevating data security. The unique hash code verification system ensured the traceability data integrity making it immune to tampering and highly reliable. Ethereum based smart contracts streamlined data storage and retrieval processes guaranteeing data accuracy and efficiency within the system. The project's successful execution significantly contributes to the development of a trustworthy and transparent agricultural supply chain management system, delivering increased visibility and reliability for farmers, consumers and industry stakeholders. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.